Hey guys, welcome back. And today I wanted to take it back to my very first video on YouTube. And it was using the Mented Cosmetics. This is the Everyday Palette. And this is what I used to create this look. So if you wanna see how I got this look, stay tuned. I already primed my face and I used the Master Prime from Maybelline and this has SPF 30. And um, I also used the Moisturizer by Olay Regenerist the Whip Olay, Olay, what? Olay Regenerist that has SPF 25. And I've also done my eyebrows and I used the Mented Brow Down eyebrow, eyebrow Pencil High, high Brow Precision Pencil and this one uh, Brow Down. I don't know what number this is. I did not realize how much I was gonna love this pencil. It's very, very thin. As you can see, it's really thin nicely and it gets the lines for the, up for the brows very well. Okay, let's start with the eyes. I'm gonna try this. This is the Elf Party Eye Primer and it's white. I have not used this one before. I saw Mena use this, Mena Adubea. If you don't follow her, you need to. And I'm gonna try this on my eyes because anytime she uses this, I mean, her, her eyeshadows always pop anyway. I think using this makes them pop even more. So we'll try this today and see how this goes. I'm gonna start off with the shade Red Bone. Red Bone is this shade. And I'm gonna put that all over my lid. And I'm gonna be using Sigma E27 brush. And you need very little, cause this, they are really pigmented. Today's kinda cloudy out here. I hope you can see this. I'm gonna take Second Date, that one right there. And I'm gonna spray some setting spray so that it pops out. And I'm gonna use the setting spray from Gerald Cosmetics. And this is what, peach? I'm gonna spray that on my brush and then, just a little. Okay. Then I'm gonna put that right here. Whoa. I forgot how pigmented these shades were. I'm gonna go up a little bit more so you can see it. And I'm gonna stop there, like halfway, because I'm gonna put another shade right here. Usually if you wet your brush, the setting spray, and then you put a shiny eyeshadow, eyeshadow, shadow, eyeshadow, it will pop up more. All right, I'm gonna get like a dense brush and now blend the two shades. So you don't have a harsh line on the top. All right, I'm gonna use the same brush from Sigma, the E27. Um, I like this brush because it's smaller than the E25, which is a blending brush. I don't know if you can see the difference. Uh, this one is a little bit bigger than this one because I wanna use another shade, but as you can see, it has color. I learned this secret here from Mena and Andrea Renee. This is called Makeup Brush Cleaner. And I just put a little bit, <laughs> this is my container for orange marmalade. And you just clean up your brush like that, because who has time to clean brushes? And you swirl in like that, and then you just wipe it on a paper towel. And it's dry and it's ready to go. That's That saves me tons of brushes to clean, man, because... By the end of a makeup look, I have at least five brushes to clean. And if I do many makeup looks in a, in a week, you have a whole line. Oh my gosh, and it's dry. It smells good. All right, I'm gonna jump into Queen Sugar. And I think this is my favorite shade in this palette. This dark eggplant color. And I'm gonna put it right here. Just blend the two. And if you feel like you lost some of the sparkly shade, you can always go back to the palette. I lost a little bit of that sparkly shade right here. Just gonna add some more. Make it even. I'm normally an M10 in their 
foundation but because I've lightened up because we're not going outside I do need a lighter one but I don't have that one yet so I'm gonna use something else all right I'm gonna use the new Morphe foundation and this is the um filter rich 28 and this is uh, the one I think uh, filter filter effect soft focus foundation I did go to Ulta and they tested my they she tested me with this one and this is what matched me at this time of the year when I looked at it in the store I was like oh this is too yellow you know I'm not gonna look good in this but let's see how it goes all right let's continue my camera died I'm actually impressed. I was worried because it looked so yellow when I was putting it on, but it matched me. I forgot to mention to you guys the Morphe uh, foundation that I got from Ulta comes with a brush, and that's how the brush looks like, and I forgot to use the brush. But it's the Morphe E63. Can I like try to put it on the white? I'm not sure about that. Uh. Alexa. Jesus. This is how it, it's shaped and this is how it looks like. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put concealer and I'm gonna use NARS Duck 2.75 Truffle. I usually use Duck, Duck Cafe Armande, but the seasons have changed and due to the pandemic, we are not going outside. This is what we are forced to use. Is that snot? OMG, how much of that was showing? Ooh this is from Biki Blender. Just blend that in. I'm going back over my eyebrows. I noticed I, I think I wiped some of it off with the foundation. Just to do a little touch up. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys can see me. I thought it would be brighter today, but I'm gonna set that foundation and I'm gonna use the Mented Light Tan. I'll be honest, I'm nervous to use this thing because it's really light and I don't I'm not even a fan of loose powder see how light it is mm. but again I saw videos I saw men I use this I saw quite a number of people use this and they were like it works I hope it does uh, should I use a brush should I use a sponge my fears have been alleviated it actually works. Yay, minted. And I don't bake. Okay, that's a lot. Ah! Lesson learned. Don't put a lot on my forehead. <laughs> yeah, okay, let me use this brush. This one is from Sephora. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, I was nervous. Okay, minted. You surprised me again. I'll take it. That was, that was a good surprise. I think what I want to do is use that very plump, the queen sugar, that, uh, this plump, uh, plum, what is it, <laughs> this plum uh, looking eyeshadow, and I want to put that on the bottom of my eyelid, and I'm going to use this brush, this is from Natasha Denona, number 11, and that's the shape, it's like straight and dense, I got this brush on sale, she's expensive. But she has some nice stuff. Oh my word. I have some of her stuff. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the bottom. It's going to like smoke out my, lo my lower lid. Kind of like join that with the other plum uh, shadow you put up here. If you have a, a pencil brush, you can do this using the pencil brush too. I just wanted to try this brush and see how it works. And then I'm gonna put a black eyeliner and this is NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil Black Bean number 601. I'm gonna wear some mascara on my top lashes first. Oh, never mind. And I'm gonna use the Superhero It Cosmetics Black Mascara. And this is for just my top lashes. And I do this because even if I'm going to wear falsies, my lashes already have some eyeshadow. It looks nuts when your lashes have, you know, eyeshadow specks and then you can see the separation between your eyelashes and the falsies if they don't look the same color. I'm going to go put on my falsies and what am I going to be? I'm going to try, I've not tried this ones before and these are the Adele 
twin pack and what is this the wispies i've never tried these ones and i'll be right back i changed my mind i decided to use the double up adele lashes and these are number one one three so i'm gonna set my face and i'm gonna be using the sephora micro smooth in the shade deep set everything i'm gonna use the uh, mented bronzer in Yatch Life. This is how it looks like. I'm gonna use the Andre Rene Peach and Pearl brush. It has some little glitter. Okay, I'm gonna put a bit here, even if my forehead is covered by my head wrap. Might have gone a bit overboard with that, but okay. Uh, just going to take the brush for my foundation with my foundation and just blend that so it looks even. I'm, gonna, I'm also going to use the Mented Blush and this is uh, Clay Too Much. And that's how Clay Too Much looks like. I am not a blush person, but I'm going to put very little. Can you see anything? Maybe it's a brush I'm using. Oh yeah, oh shoot, okay. <laughs> Let me not overdo it. See, I can't see this side this side very well. Okay, Grace. Oh. Mented. I love you guys. Why lie? Okay, for highlighter, I'm also gonna go back to the palette. Use one of these shades as my highlighter. And I'm gonna use Fast Date. That one. Let me use this one. This is from Andrea Renee. Why? Overboard. Do you see that? I might have gone overboard. Oh wow. Okay, Grace. It's okay. Remember, you can always make up. You can always undo what you just did. Mm. Look at that. But this is too much for me. Especially coming this low. No, I'm gonna have to fix this. That's better. You see right here, it was coming too low. It was coming too low to my cheek. I don't like that, but I can I can work with this one here. I hope you also how I fix that. I just used the same brush that I had the foundation with, and I like that. So let me try fix this side. Flick the brush a bit. Let's see if I can put back a little bit of blush because I think I might have wiped it off. Tell you what, Mented is making. That's flipping me to using blushes because I'm really not a blush person, but I'm liking this a lot. I'm gonna try Mented Night. Then I'm gonna put Nude La La. The, uh, this is the matte Nude La La. Then I'm going to put the gloss now on top, uh, pink about me. I was expecting a different look, a different color, but that's okay. I was expecting more pink. <laughs> then to set everything, oh wait, I'm going to put mascara on my lower lashes. And this one's you have to do this number because, you know, and you stay like this because you don't want the mascara to hit your face. Is that still recording? Yes. Then I usually go back with uh, this telescopic mascara. Hold on, I'll be back. I was saying I like to use this telescopic mascara because it's very uh, flexible. It tends to comb out the cluster of mascara from my other mascaras, if that makes any sense. So to set all this, and I'm still going to do this. To set all this, I'm going to use the Morphe uh, Continuous Setting Spray. I love this thing. <sighs> Guys, I don't remember where I got this head wrap from, but I'm going to look for it and I'm going to link it in the um, description below. So let me know what you guys think. I really love Mented Cosmetics. If you've never used them, please check them out. 
thank you so much guys for sticking out with me again and be kind to others and be kind to yourselves bye